86 years separate this from this. These two locomotives represent the history and development of a British industry. In the grimy, industrial heart of Leeds lies a centenarian among loco builders, the Hunslet Engine Company, on this site since Stevenson. Hunslet are small and they're specialists. Their survival, when surrounding giants have scarcely outlived the steam age, is remarkable. Their main business is diesel shunters, and they export nearly everything. On the test track, their current order, one of 28 diesels for Ceylon, total value three quarters of a million. Everything about Hunslet is family, the Alcock family. They've run it for two generations. When the present chairman arrived in 1927, his father gave him 5,000 pounds to develop a diesel locomotive. So Hunslet were diesel pioneers and well placed when British Rail abandoned steam in the mid 50s. John Alcock now has his own sons in the business. I believe that the smaller firm can live much better today uh, than the bigger firm. I think this personal family angle, the fact that my father was known here, I'm known here, my sons are known here, the name's known, and there's not a customer in the world that doesn't know that he is able to ring me up or ring one of us up and get exactly what he wants right on the nail. And he never has to explain what he wants or why he wants it. We're on the job. Keeping Hunslet on the job has not always been easy. All manufacturers were hit between the wars, many never recovered. The Alcocks modernized, introduced their diesels and survived. The home market, strangely, has been modest. British Rail are selling shunters back to Hunslet and making their own. It's abroad that Hunslet make their big sales, from Calcutta to Calgary, ancient and modern. Most firms insist on home sales to boost exports, but Hunslet have hardly any. No, hardly any at all. Here again, we're accustomed to export. Uh, we know what's needed in almost every country in the world, with locomotives in more than 57 countries. And uh, I think a home market's only necessary if you're in a sort of mass production business, or can use a mass production in the sense of big quantities. Whereas we've never been in big quantities anyway. We build what the customer wants. While international competition flared, Hunslet diversified. They've tried everything from forklift trucks to bubble cars. They treat new lines as experimental and aren't frightened of abandoning unpromising products. For decades, Hunslet have specialized in mine locomotives. I reckon I have a better team here than any other works in Britain or any part of the world. There isn't a man on the place that doesn't feel he's part of the Hunslet team. The wheels of the British locomotive industry keep turning. But as foreign competition intensifies and markets are filled, selling locomotives is bound to get tougher. 